Hi, um, welcome to the Twitter Think channel. I have in this video example number two for complex numbers. There is an introduction to this topic. If you haven't seen it, uh, kindly do locate this video in my playlist, the playlist um, Engineering Math 2, and then go over this uh, uh, introduction to equip yourself for. Uh, better understanding. I will be taking these examples here. I have Z1 here to be 3 plus 4i then Z2 to be 3 minus 2i then Z3 Z4. We are told to find all these that we have here. So I'll be brief and Let's box on so we are finding Z1 plus Z2 so I have z1 to be 3 plus 4i and then z2 to be 3 minus 3 uh, 2i so all i have to do is to add them 3 plus 4i adding to 3 minus 2i so that is it your next step is to remove the bracket it's not necessary there's no need to put it in bracket so we have here 3 plus 4i where the i here is the complex notation if you have watched the introduction we know that i here is the complex notation and three and four are the real numbers so plus three minus two i so we add all terms that are real and all terms that are complex so we have three plus three plus four i minus two i so this is giving us 6 plus 2i so therefore z1 plus z2 is going to give us 6 plus 2i and that is it then we move on to the second example so the second example says that we should subtract so we have z1 minus z2 that's what we have here so we locate z1 z1 is going to give us 3 plus 4i subtracted from z2 which is 3 minus 2i so we have 3 minus 2i so here we just remove brackets by using this to multiply whatever is here so we have 3 plus 4i this time this will give us minus 3 this time this plus 2i so now we add all real terms and all imaginary terms and when we do that we have 3 minus 3 plus 4i plus 2i so this is giving us 0 um, plus 6i giving us 6i so this is the final result z1 minus z2 is giving us 6i so the third example says we should add z2 and z3 so we have z2 to be 3 minus 2i plus z3 is 7 plus 4i so we have 3 plus 7 minus 2i plus 4i we have 10 here and when we add this we have plus 2 so z2 plus z3 is giving us 10 plus 2i where 10 here is the real term 2i representing the imaginary term z1 minus z4 so we have um, z1 is 3 plus 4i um, minus z4 and z4 is giving us minus 1 plus 3i so when we remove the bracket we are getting 3 plus 4i and this time this plus 1 minus 3i so we are getting all terms that are real are 3 and 1 so we have 3 plus 1 plus 4i minus 3i so when we simplify this we are getting 4 plus i when we subtract 3i from this we have 4 plus i so z1 minus z4 is giving us this let's move on to the fifth one so for z1 we have 3 plus 4i multiplying 3 minus 2i 
so we have in here we can multiply this we use the whole bracket to multiply so 3 times 3 will give us 9 3 times this will give us minus 6i and 4i times this will give us plus 12i and this time this will give us minus 8i squared so you should note that i times i will give you i squared but i squared equals negative 1 so we can substitute that value here and then we simplify so we have 9 minus 6 i plus 12 i minus um, let me put the i made it negative 1 so this time this is giving us positive so we have um, 9 minus 6 i plus 12 i plus 8 so now we can now simplify all real terms we have 9 plus 8 giving us 17 and then we can add this one giving us a um, plus 6 I, and this is giving us z1 z2 so that is the result now finally we have the last example to be z1 z3 giving us 3 plus 4 i multiplying 7 plus 4i so when we multiply this we have 3 by 7 is giving us 21 then we have 3 by 4 3 times this giving us 12i and then 4 times 7 is giving us 28i and then 4 4 plus 16 i squared but now we know that i squared is negative 1 so we can do that substitution so we know that 21 plus 12 i plus 12 i minus 16 when i substitute negative 1 here i'm getting minus 16 so we can now add all terms here and add all terms that are imaginary and add all terms that are real this is supposed to be 28 all right so when we add this one we are getting 21 minus 16 plus 12 plus 28 all terms that are real and then finally we have 5 plus 40i giving us z1 z3 and this is our final result if this video was very helpful i'll be taking a lot of examples under this i would want you to subscribe to this channel my name is daniel and i'll see you in the next video